Happy New Year, Squad Fam! Welcome to another Sinister Sunday. Did you ever wonder why we make noise on New Year's? According to lore, from around the world, uh, the sounds can ward off evil spirits. Even the Chinese during New Year use their firecrackers traditionally. So... Make lots of noise, scream, set off fireworks, bang pots and pans. You could do it for fun, or you could do it for your fate. There's a lot of superstitions come New Year's. This superstition, which is believed to derive from Latin America, suggests that your undergarment that you wear will bring you impassioned relationships. So they say, slip on your best pair of red underwear and you will find love this new year. Well, if you're like me and you don't need to find love because you already have it, then you might need money. In the southern United States, it matters what you eat on New Year's. Many believe that green foods brings you money while peas reflect prosperity. So, stock your plate with collard greens and black-eyed peas and you'd have both this holiday season. While most Americans like bite-sized snacks on New Year's Eve, in Spain the tradition is to eat 12 grapes at midnight. In a ritual that dates back to the 1800, it's believed that if you can finish your 12 grapes, one for each month of the year, before the clock strikes 1201, you will have good luck the whole year. That's actually kind of like the Greeks. We bake a bread and we wrap a dime in foil and stick it in each of the loaves. And whoever finds the dime has good luck for all of New Year's. You do which one you like. Legend in China and Latin America have it that just the act of cleaning literally sweeps negativity from your family and from your life and from your home. So girls, get out those brooms and mops this New Year's Eve. To clean or not to clean. So while some clean, others subscribe to this Chinese superstition that they avoid doing laundry, dishes, or even taking out the trash on New Year's because it's thought that purging things from your life can cause you to throw or wash away your luck. Oh, and don't forget the superstition that putting money in your wallet before midnight will usher in a year of prosperity. Are you planning to entertain this New Year's Eve? Well, if your cabinets and cupboards are bare, that's going to be a bad sign. Some believe the emptiness will signal a year of scarcity, so you better go stock up accordingly. Get to your supermarket before New Year's. Another popular superstition, this coming from the Philippines, if you open all your doors and windows just before midnight, you'll let out the old year and you'll let in the new. But don't catch pneumonia if you're in New York. Buckwheat soba noodles are sometimes eaten at midnight in Japan to see out one year and welcome in the new. The reason? Ingesting the noodles will bring about longevity and prosperity for the rest of the year. So eat your noodles, guys. For many, the dense doughy king cake, generally associated with New Orleans, represents the end of the Christmas season. But be on the lookout for a golden coin or a plastic baby. If you find it, you will have good luck for the whole year, plus wealth and prosperity, according to the legend. Don't pack your luggage? <laughs> In Latin America, it's believed that lugging around your Empty luggage will conjure up a full year of adventure and travel. Who needs a spell book when you could just drag your empty luggage around? Why the kiss on New Year? Well, are you looking for luck in the love department? Well, grab someone and give them a smooch. 
because the first encounter of the new year can determine how you'll spend the next 365. So spend it kissing or with money in your wallet. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have the happiest new year. I hope it's healthy for you all. And we'll see you on the next adventure.